Okay, finally working. So, right. About the whole gaming thing that was kind of interrupted by an animatronic decided to randomly shove its head into the electrical box. Yeah, it kind of shorted out the internet. Because everyone knows that metal and electricity connect in the worst kind of way. So, now that we have this whole thing working again, I'll just kind of replay the outro intro song. Yeah, close enough. <coughs> In the background, we have a coughing derpy. So, so, so... We have ourselves a nice little fun stream for the night. It's gonna be containing, um... What's that thing called? A video game? It tends to kind of have adventures... Oh, yes, the Stanley Parable! Where maybe I, or the game, shall play each other! But who do we know is playing who? But how do we know I'm not playing them when they're playing me? If I'm not playing them, I am playing someone else. Because I'm in fact Stanley, not myself. But then again, is the game playing Stanley or me? If I'm playing Stanley, am I playing the game or is the game playing Stanley? But in fact, am I playing the game if I'm playing Stanley? Who knows? That is the question. So, let me just double check and see who's in the uh, viewer section. Oh, pretty good start. Sweetness! Yeah, just kind of want to add a little bit of that build up. So we'll be playing the game soon. On Twitch! On Just the Ramos channel! Dramatization and build up for hype! So, chat, how you doing? Are you gonna have some fun? Yeah, that's the thing. I was actually thinking since Derpy had played Stanley Parable, I would want to play Stanley Parable because a game existential as that has to be interesting. Just has to be. I mean, how can you not have a self-aware game that is not actually self-aware and not enjoy the concept? of playing through the mechanics of the game, or playing the mechanics of the game. It's fantastic. So, the whole catchphrase thing aside, well, it's not Alon Z, it's Avante! Well, Avante, if you want to say it faster. So yeah, song's almost over, which means the game's coming next. 20 seconds about, I think? No. About 10. 9. 8. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go! Now I don't want to say changes. Sorry. Audacity, please be quiet. Thank you. Oh, great. Window capture. Work with me. Come on. Come on. Ah, there it is. All right, time for some Stanley Parable. And we shall begin the game because we are playing the Stanley Parable. End is never the end, 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 is never a loop, it's never a loop. Yes, it is, yes, it is. Play it. Over. Oh, wait a second. E end is never the end is never the end is never the end is loading, Nev. That's what it says. That's because it's on my screen. Therefore, it has to be correct. All right. Loading slowly. Loading screens are such a artistic form of to show what is taking forever to process through a computer and a game. So, what we have here is loading the game. Now, is it loading the game, or is it loading the game? Don't you love a question in English? You never know what one thing means because it's going to be in double entendre. Or not. Who can know? Only I know. 
Because I have so many meanings for things. Because I am that kind of doctor. And I'm being really goofy. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I think we know. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month. Boring call center job. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Um, uh -uh. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Oh? He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. I believe it's called free Never will. in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Oh, Something dear. was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Hey, you don't control me, I control me. By the way, is there like a weird dark spot on the screen? Hold on, I'm pausing the game, I need to check something. Oh yeah, that's certainly part of the game. Hold on, gotta make a fix. There we are. Now we're just the alerts kind of deciding to bleed on the screen. So, editing, editing this part out. Maybe. Come on, Stanley. Bring it back. Okay, the game is now paused and we resume the game. There, now the screen's nice and clean. Beautiful. Ah, doors. They open so much opportunity for everyone. Except 429. You're just... A boring paper computer lined office with a very artistic f um, painting picture something anyways all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean it Stanley means... decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo no matter how hard Stanley looked he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers I can't read the screen whoops I didn't do that Hold on. Gotta try jumping. Do I get the achievement yet? Ah, there it is! You can't jump. I certainly can. I can jump to anywhere I want to be. Let's try. 4.30. 2. 3. 4. 5. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yeah. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, Sometimes. No, no, no. I can't just give these merits away for such long. I'm effort. waiting. A measly five clicks. Get through your I spiel. If you were to click the door twenty times, I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Ah, <sighs> fine. Two, three, four, five, six. Mm. I have up to say, I'm still sticks. not feeling the satisfaction Eight. of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Mm. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. I'm going to click the crap out of this thing. I'm going to click it and click. No, no. Come on. I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this Come achievement on. to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness... You hear the clicking the there, narrator? The Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Oh. You're killing me. With your slow narration. Oh, yes, just kindly do a thing that I command. Because I... I'm a sticky wicket. What was it, 417 he said? Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437. 
You can buy the biscuit there, sir. Uh, 36. Oh, there it is. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Uh, where's the sprint button? Narrator, I'm trying to get this achievement. You're just me being a bot not allowing me to get it. Hey, look. 420. No wonders. I wonder why. Anyways. <laughs> oh, oh, crimey. What was it? 430 something? 437? No, no, wasn't it? Oh, crap. Why wasn't I listening? Whoops! Random clicking knocks out computers. Username? Access. Ha ha! Not anymore. Whoop! Doors? Move. Because doors... When Stanley no. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I didn't! Oh! Well, there were that achievement! I thank you for the, the number. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Shh. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps I'm... he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No. <sighs> ah, yes, truly a room oh, worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley well, simply excuse stood me for here, trying to explore. All in. Yeah, I'm drinking it all in. Soda, I can't get. get. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really Oh, worth it. look at the pixels on these chairs. Aren't they fantastically aromatic? I mean, just look. Point, Stanley's obsession Fabric. with this room bordered on creepy. And reflected poorly on his overall personality. Look at those marks. That this is why everyone left. Oh, aren't you a sassy? Uh, no, that's too offensive. Ah, oh, there it is. Who fought it? Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Oh, you admit this is a game. I'm not going to listen. Except, look at this clock. It is currently, um, not that time, or is it? It's 11.30, one forever. Who can I find using something? Wait, F-U-O. Fuel. I wonder if he means coffee. Anyways, time to move on. But at last, Not get my he'd had enough door. of the amazing room, you can bite and took me the first open door on his left to get back to business. The first open door on my left? What was that? I couldn't hear you! I only heard the front! Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Well, you're just jealous because I can actually hold a job, narrator. Penalty of four misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo car, uh, cargo lift, five thousand dollars. That goes on top of your medical insurance. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the oh, story yeah. has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, what? Really? Yes. I'm in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you mm. that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? I don't know. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove <laughs> it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Uh -huh. Give me a chance. <laughs> really? I dare you to direct me somewhere further than just a storm of boxes. Give me something interesting, narrator, because danger, danger is everywhere. And danger 
is adventure, and I love adventure. Come on, give me something interesting. 2B4, 2B5. Now listen carefully, this is important. Uh -huh. Stanley walked through the red door. Hmm. Red, blue. I don't have a red TARDIS or telephone box, but I do have a blue box. Oh, what's over here? Card readers! Eh, go for TARDIS blue. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the no. red door. Uh huh. I still no. don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Ah, uh, no, I did not. I All went through right, a blue fine. door. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. <laughs> you see, there's nothing here. I think we've done it in your skin. This section of the map, because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. I do not think I put a lot of time into that, because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work Maybe. with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Well, you can't hear me. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Hmm. Thank you for following Alto Crescent. Huh. All right, I'll take you, Zor, for once there, narrator. But I don't expect anything good, knowing you. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Hmm. One, two, three, or four. Well, five. That is the question. Am I amused by your tenacious sense of storytelling? And thank you for following Neo Scaith. Hmm. Okay, I'll go with the chat's decision. I'm going with one. Look out, narrator. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express Think itself mechanically and artistically, but a one! Kinterbark that's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new playthrough. version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Whoa! Oh, God. I'm on the leaderboard. Of all the things you could have picked. Okay, quite a little depth there. I've not done seven hours. Why not ask for some friends for help? I have plenty of friends. Just trying to sass me now, aren't you, narrator? I'm watching you, or well, listening to you, but not listening to you. Well, I don't care if it's a dead rat. There's a dead mouse, and he seems to be doing quite fine. I mean, dead mouse is doing pretty excellent. Okay, take the other door again, because you have to sass now, me. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Huh, let's see. Hmm, I'm thinking. Oh, look at that. Anyways, uh, let's go for a... Hmm. You know what? Since you guys are going all around the number, I'm going to go for a three. 
Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. All you right. mind taking a look at it, would you? Nah, you're going to put me there anyways. Let me boot it up. Yeah, boot me in there. Did he? In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You Derby, the what are you doing? Back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be uh -huh. sure to keep notes on your experience. Wow, you're a little bit creepy there, narrator. You really don't like kids, do you? Yeah. I'll just let it go over in the fire. You heartless ah, bastards. Silence. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because uh. if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's what? over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Yeah, I have input for you there, narrator. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. This seems like it'll work. Narrator, if you could be just quiet for a moment, I'll tell you how much you have little regard for human life. Especially to make a game where you have a child going to a fire.